backstage. You need to pick a family. We are back, everybody, for our second game of this weekend's Family Feud Marathon. It's our second episode of the fourth season, and I hope you all caught that first game because we just had our first $10,000 win. Now, Mikey, I think I know the answer to this question, but I'm going to ask you anyway. Yeah? When you were a child, did you have a donkey for a pet? No. Then what made you come up with that answer? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he had evil on his mind. Yeehaw! Here we go. Game two. Game two of episode two. But yeah, we're off and running. Off to a great start. Yes, sir. We had a great first game. Let's go two for two. As we continue the breezy Saturday Family TV PlayStation Marathon. Top four answers. Here we go. Ready? Yes. Name an event you look forward to which takes place on the same date every year. I will say Christmas. What's the question? Name an event you look forward to which takes place on the same date every year. We're going with Christmas. Christmas. And Let's birthday see anniversary. Birthday anniversary, good. Let's see Christmas. It's number one, said by 64 people. Louis, we would like to play. Good answer, number one. Player pack. Family number one is going to play. I will say a birthday. And speaking of which, Davin Bagel has a birthday coming up in February, which I will be doing a birthday special for him. Let's see a birthday. Number two, said by 14 people. Good answer. <laughs> First time this weekend. He just comes out of nowhere saying good answer. <laughs> Anniversary. Let's see an anniversary. It's there, said by four people. All right. Absolutely. Call me crazy, but I think I'm going to go with the 4th of July. Oh. Wow. A lot of people look forward to the 4th of July. That's true. Name an event you look forward to which takes place on the same date every year. If 4th of July is there, we got a clean sweep. If not, it's only strike one. Okay. Let's see the Independence Day. Bam! We got it! Right on. Wow. Way to go! Off and running again, folks! Yes. Family number one gets the points. Let's have what's behind the bar counter. Dr. Pepper, sure. Family 
number one. You're funny, right? I thought I'd bring in the kitty with me, too. It's a kitty. It's a kitty. Tiger. You know you like Family Feud just as much as I do, Ty. Good old Tiger. Oh, yeah. Meow. Here, Tiger, you want a piece of pizza? Oh, here, uh, let, me, let me have those paper towels. Come on, another pizza. Here. There you go, buddy. By the way, hey, people, TJ, three answers on the board. First cat, Tell me what you think of that idea. You ready to do this? Yes. Name something kids don't finish. Name something kids don't finish? Meals. I like it, buddy. I like it. Family number one. And? Yeah. My friend from Florida is going to send me a copy of the TV. Kids that. don't finish their meals. Got it! Food! Louie? Yeah. We want to play. Our top answer. Hollywood. How are you going to play? They don't finish their chores. That's another one, yeah. He's going to play. And the other one is homework. Yeah. But I know Devin Bangle finishes his homework. Show us chores. Yes, indeed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Marty. Oh, yeah. 
yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna go with the jug. And there'll be five, three for three. Day. There really is a celebrity called Aubrey O'Day. Uh -oh. I know. I need a couple more players. <laughs> yes, I said it out loud, Marty. <laughs> nice job. Nice job. We sure made 100 Top four answers. Four answers on the board. Here we go. Are we ready? Yes. Everybody ready? Tell me something in your bathroom that you keep replacing. I'm going to say shampoo. Tell me something in your bathroom that you keep replacing. Shampoo! You never know what's going to be up there. It's not there? Nice try, but no. Now that surprised me. Number two, you give it a shot. Your answer, family number two. So, good answer. Oh, yeah, Mikey. <laughs> good answer. Good answer. Mikey, what did you do? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I thought for a second there that was you, Mikey. I know, right? Absolutely. Are they going to play or pass? We need a decision. Play or pass. Are oh, you gonna pass it? Thank you. I'm gonna say TP toilet paper. Because toilet paper has to be replaced, right? Yeah. Especially when you're Michael Batten. Yeah, but I don't want to ask you. You said that on camera. You said that on camera. I'm not editing it out. That's staying. Toilet paper's there, number one. I will say a toothbrush. It's there. One answer left. Yeah. How about toothpaste? We'll say toothpaste. Oh, it's 
not there. Uh oh. Oh. Sorry, strike one. That's it. The other family can steal. But I think they're gonna mess up. Yep. But just to take precautions, family number two, I command you to mess up. Mess up. Mess up. Mess up. Mess up. Mess up. Light bulbs! Light bulbs! Needless to say, let's get ready for fast money. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, so, Marty, we won't send you to the isolation booth just yet. Because we need to see what the number three answer was first. We got a grand total of 529 points. Let's see what the third answer was. It was in third place. I'm willing to bet it was a razor or shaving cream. It was tissue. Just tissue. Oh. Alright, so, uh, Marty, I'm going to go ahead and send you to the isolation booth. We'll bring you back up as soon as we reveal Mikey's answers, okay? Alright. See you in a minute. Alright, Mikey, get on deck. Let's go. We got our first ten thousand dollar win. Will we go two for two? Oh yeah. Or as Craig would say, oh yes, definitely. Oh yes, definitely. We did win ten grand in the first game. Let's do it again. All right, Mikey. Are you ready? ready. You ready? Yeah. First go around, you got 132 points. Let's see if you get more. We have our first player. Good luck. The clock won't start until I finish reading the first question. Question number one, Mikey, is this. Uh, Name a word or phrase word or used in basketball. Uh, slam dunk. Good, good. Oops. Question two. Tell me how long your average phone conversation lasts. Ten minutes. Okay. Name a game played in a circle. Uh, duck, duck, goose. Absolutely. Uh, that's gotta be number one. Just don't play that game with Hunter Winter putting pie. <laughs> Question four. Name a place you'd see people with wet hair. Uh, pool. Yes, absolutely. Dumb answer alert. Yep, yeah, dumb answer alert. Let's see the question. Oh! Name an occupation you'd hate your neighbor to have. A stripper! Of course! <laughs> Let's see how you did, Mikey. Are you ready? You said slam dunk. Our survey said 18. Okay. Good start. You said 10 minutes. Our survey said 28. Good. Alright, that's awesome. Reaching up. You said duck, duck, goose. What did our survey say? Six only. Well, it's there. Okay. Name a place you'd see people with wet hair. You said a swimming pool. What did our survey say? Fifty-four. All right. Okay, that's not okay. An occupation you hate your neighbor to have. You said a stripper. That got nothing. Wow. All right. Let's get Marty back. I'll get him. <laughs> All right, Marty. Mikey got you 106. All you need is 94. You can do it. Are you ready? Your first question is, name a word or phrase used in basketball. Uh, try again. Three-pointer. Three-pointer? Okay. Tell me how long your average phone conversation lasts. Go, go, go. Try again. Uh, five minutes. 
Alright. Five minutes, alright. Oops. Oh, Fritz. Name a game played in a circle. Try again. Marbles, all right. Ring around the Rosie. You want to go with marbles or ring around the Rosie, Marty? Nah, I'm going to ring around the Rosie. You change your answer, all right. You can do that. Well, let's take a look at question number four, shall we? Yes. Name a place you'd see people with wet hair. With wet hair? Yes. You want some help? Yeah. I'm gonna say a beauty salon. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey, I got and finally, Marty, name an occupation you'd hate your neighbor to have. A doctor. Mikey, tell Marty your answer. A stripper. What the hell? Unfortunately, doctor's not showing up, Marty. Try again. What? An accountant. Accountant? Alright. I would have said cop. Um, yeah. You'll go with accountant or cop? Accountant. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, my team cannot believe you. 94 points is all you need. Name a word or a phrase used in I believe foul was number one. You said a three pointer. Survey said? Two. Foul was number one. You said five minutes. Yes. Our survey said 28. Yeah. That's what 10 minutes got. It also got 28. You wanted to say marbles, then you changed it to ring around the rosy, and our survey said 37. Two answers left, 27 points away. Swimming pool number one, I help you with the beauty salon. That got 18. All we need is nine. Did nine people say accounted for ten thousand dollars? Nobody said it. No. No, sorry. Well, Mikey, you know what's coming. Congratulations. All right. Any last words, Mikey? Uh, yeah. yeah, exactly. Okay, Marty. See you next time on Family Feud. I'll do one more. Not that one. 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 <laughs> See you all for game three in a second. <laughs>